Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I brought a German on the channel to give us the inside perspective and the tea on dating in Germany. Um, so um, before we go any further, you guys know how it is. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me. It's at Waleo Chronicles. And do you want to drop your Instagram handle? I think you have to show it because uh, my name is very hard to pronounce. No one will so, get it. Okay. So we'll just put his Instagram handle. Just be aware that <laughs> people will actually jump into your DM. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Moment. Okay. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I have the right German on my channel. First of all, let me give a disclaimer. Please, this is for entertainment reasons only. And we're just sharing our thoughts and opinions. And there will be a lot of stereotypes here. It's just our opinion and it's for entertainment only. So take it with a pinch of salt, okay? Okay, so this is the way this video is going to go. I will say stereotypes that we've heard and we all like in different ways I've heard about German men and then Alex will tell us if it's true or false and he will tell us why the reasoning behind that so that we can understand German men. So Alex, you're going to be the ambassador for all German men today. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you prepared for this task? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm try my best. <laughs> so the first accusation, <laughs> no, it's not an accusation. The first stereotype is that German men do not know how to flirt with mm -hmm. a woman. What do you okay. have to say about that? Well, the thing is that you know, I don't analyze other men flirting with women. Women, you know. So it's more that I care about. Is it okay how I flirt if I do it? You know. Oh, I mean, you know, like you, you don't you don't go into the situation like I'm going to flirt. Right. You know, uh -huh. so uh -huh. you just I don't know. Mm, I'm not too sure if if it's about German guys that are not you know like able to flirt, but um, I can imagine that they are bad, as a more, more bad than other countries. For example, for I don't mean like maybe Italy or Spain. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, maybe, maybe also it's about the look. You know, I can, I can imagine that Italian people in general look better than Germans. I can imagine. I'm not too sure. I don't know. You know, I, I don't date German guys. You know, that's the thing. Like, okay, tell us. Like, tell us how would you flirt then? You have to. Oh, it, it, it depends. You know, it depends on the situation. Depends mm -hmm. on you know on the person that you are. Um, that you are contacting, mm -hmm. but I think that yeah, it, it really depends. You know, you have to you have to have, you feel the situation that you know is the person even open for you. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you, you feel you feel if she's available for you. How do you get the feeling that she's available for you? If she's nice to you. What if she's just nice out of being friendly? Well, then this could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> The second one is actually very related to the first one we just mm -hmm. talked about, right? So the second one is that German guys are very shy, so they will not take the first step in approaching a lady that they are interested in. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that I am... If that's a stereotype, I'm the complete opposite, I would say. Because ah! I'm, not, I'm not shy. That's for sure, I'm not shy. Okay, um, okay. I don't know if German people are in general shy. I actually wouldn't say so. Maybe more like zurückhaltend. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, maybe maybe they are because you know Germans always want to be right. You know yeah, they don't yeah. want to do anything wrong. Absolutely. So they, they are respectful, uh -huh. mm, or they try to be at least. Uh -huh. So uh, the bottom line is that of course, natürlich, not all German guys are shy and will not make the first step because Alex is an exceptional. Well, Alex is one of the ones that will make a first step. So if you like the girl, you will make a first step. You will not yeah. wait for, for her to maybe talk to you or... But I would also like really like that. I mean, you know, if women take the first step... Really? You even respect it more. I would say like, yeah, I like it more. Why? Why do you like it more? Mm, yeah, I, you know, I like it when uh, women are more um, courageous. I like the idea that, you know, women always say like, oh, he has to take the first step and everything. But mm -hmm. if they do it the other direction, you you already see that, you know, they are open for it. Ah, I mean, it's so just nice. It's just nice that they don't 
have that stereotype, man has to do it, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. so... So it kind of makes your job easier, kind of? No, it's not about that. I mean, the, in the end, you can still not like the person, even if she does the first step. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> I mean, that would hurt no, so I mean, much. So if German people, like I know from experience that it's unusual for a German guy to approach you maybe in a bar or in a, I don't know mm -hmm. how other people meet other people mm -hmm. randomly in other places, other cultures. Mm -hmm. So how do German people meet themselves apart from mutual friends? Like, I mean, how do you guys meet? Like, how do you, apart from mutual friends? Yeah, I would say... As you said, um, like bars, clubs, I mean, unfortunately not, not at the moment, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, clubs and, you know, places where people are open-minded. Like when you try to sometimes strike up conversation with someone, if you're coming from a different culture where it's normal to just talk to people mm -hmm. in bars and clubs, and here in Germany, if you try to start a conversation with a guy, like sometimes it's always like, oh my god, the guy is like, why are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I don't... Like, so shocked that you're talking to him and doesn't even know how to respond and it's not really it's weird for 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 people that are not from here so if that doesn't work how do you guys meet each other like how do you meet potential mates or partners yeah i mean um you know the thing with bars is that you usually go to bars with mutual friends you know True. so if you are sitting on a um on a table with like five friends or something, mm -hmm. it's really, a, it's, you know, it's a different situation to mm -hmm. just, you know, bump in and True. talk to some because, you know, even the person that you want to talk to is kind of in a pressure, pressure situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because there are four friends of her or something around mm -hmm. her and, you know, they are all watching you talking to her maybe yeah, she doesn't feel comfortable so I would not do that yeah probably. yeah true true but um, I cannot agree with you with uh, the clubs because I think that it's very normal so the next one is that the next stereotype is that um, German men always expect to split the bill 50-50 when you go on a first date with them um, I would not agree on that. I mean, money is very, very important. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> For Germans, I'd say. But um, I just think that most of the guys feel more comfortable if you just invite the other person. Mm -hmm. On the first date? Even on the first date. It's just the question what you do on your first date. You know, if you have ice cream, <laughs> then it would be, I don't know, Five people, yeah. Uh -huh. But if I don't think that it's that it's nice to go on a like I don't know a dinner or something for the first date because then you are eating yeah, and you can't talk, true. so that's well, a bit uncomfortable, I think. But um, I would not expect to split the bill. Um, I would feel more comfortable to um, to invite the other person, but. Uh, I think that uh, there there's a trend that even women don't want that. that you know, they offering like splitting the bill or even inviting you. Which women? I don't know. Not <laughs> but bad. I'm not one of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's definitely the easiest way just to invite the other person, mm -hmm. and you feel the most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But you don't feel comfortable. You know, if you spend all your money, but uh, <laughs> this should be the case. <laughs> No, but like I would say for this stereotype in my experience, this is a stereotype, it's not true. Like, so of course some men expect it, but it's not like all German men expect it. Uh, the German guys that I've gone on dates with, they always pay on the first date. So like, it's a false stereotype anyway. And it's, it's, it depends on every individual, mm -hmm. so. The final one is that chivalry is dead among German guys. So chivalry means like, Maybe like being gentle, manly, opening the door for the lady, you know, this like... Mm -hmm. okay. So it doesn't exist among German men, you know, opening the window for the lady... The window, the window yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the door! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Opening the door for the lady, if she wants to sit down, like taking the, 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 yeah, the, the chair, chair out, mm -hmm. you know, and like, like helping her put on a mm -hmm. coat, you know, things like yeah, that, you know, yeah. or like, oh, ladies first, you know, very gentle, yeah, manly. Yeah. It doesn't exist mm -hmm. among German men, that's the okay. stereotype. Mm, I would not agree. I would say that this is still um, very typical for Germans. What I also think is that, um, you know, 
feminism is a very growing part in in every culture. It should be in every yeah, culture, yeah, but yeah. especially in Germany, especially mm -hmm. in Berlin, you know. Mm -hmm. I think um, that feminism is a you know growing movement, mm -hmm. and lots of women don't like it anymore to you know open get the door opened. That's what Again, I yeah. Which I, women? Which ones? I saw that. I mean, it's not that I've opened doors and you know uh, being yelled at or something, but I saw that already. That you know women are like mm, I can open the door myself. But I would still say not a typical German thing. Lots of uh, German guys would do that still. So like German men want to do it, but sometimes they're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna step on some toes and give my opinion on this, right? So like I feel like I'm um, trying to prove that you can do something for by yourself. Trying to prove anything at all stems from insecurity. Like, I know I can do it myself, mm -hmm. but I allow you to do it for me. It doesn't make me any less capable of yeah. doing it for yeah. myself. Yeah. It's just for me. I, like, I'm confident enough in my ability to do it for myself that I allow somebody else to do it for me. It doesn't mean like I'm now disabled or something. I appreciate a perfect gentleman. If you like open the door, I'm like, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. you. You can open the door for a woman. You can open the door for a man. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. It's yeah, good you, manners. You know, it's separate things. You have to separate this from... Yeah, it's good manners generally. Yeah. Like I open the door sometimes. If somebody's coming behind me, whether it's a man or a woman, I mm -hmm. hold the door open for them, you know? Doesn't like, I don't get it. So anyway... I, in my experience, I've met very gentlemanly German men that are very, very gentlemanly in every sense of the word. So the stereotype is very wrong. Okay, so with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you very much, Alex, for coming to represent German men in Pleasure. this video. Mm -hmm. um, if you liked this video, leave a thumbs up and leave. Feel free to come. I know you guys are going to come in the comment section and you're going to attack us for some of the things we said and some people will support. That's fine. That's the internet. So just leave a comment. Share your comments and thoughts on some of the things we've said. And if you have other stereotypes that you've heard about, leave it in the comment section. Again, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Cheers!